Hey guys, it's Kipul67 again here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Jack o' Lantern 2016 one. It's the Absorbing Man Build a Figure Wave. So, first we're going to go over the accessories, and then we're going to go over the figure itself. So, yeah. First, for accessories, he comes with the leg, I think the left leg to Absorbing Man, which I I'm actually getting pretty close to building this Build-A-Figure, mostly because I don't really give a shit about this Build-A-Figure that much because he's a character that I don't care about, but every single figure in that wave of Marvel Legends of the Spider-Man wave is awesome. That's the reason why. And then for the rest of his accessories, he, or for the next accessory, he comes with the sickle. Very nice looking, and it fits into his hand fairly well. He doesn't really have a grasping hand. Let me see. Just kind of have to squish his fingers together a little bit to get it on and it's on very well. Handle thing goes over his hand and then he has that. Then the next accessory he comes with is oh I'm just this is hard to get on camera. Come on. I don't know, it's very hard to see, but it's a pumpkin that has like a jack-o'-lantern head or smile because they didn't paint it. They just, it's a translucent ball. But this thing's kind of hard for him to hold because he doesn't really have a hand for holding it. Because he's from a figure named Ghost, the body mold is. I guess he can kind of get him to hold it, but like it's any slight bump and the thing's going to fall out of his hand. But... And for his last accessory, he comes with this broom thing. Versus a glider, he comes with a broom, which I looked him up, and in this version of the character, this is like a... I think this version of Jack Lantern's a villain in the Venom comics. So he's like an arch enemy to Agent Venom or something. You can leave a comment down below and let me know. But it looks pretty nice. Kind of hard to actually get him on it, but get him into the right pose. Let's see, just got to... There's only like one pose you can really get him into where he actually sits on it normal. As you can hear, the horrible joints in his arms. That's the only like big no-no for figures is ratchet joints and arms. They're like overly ratchety. Freaks the hell out of me. Makes me feel like the figure is going to break any second while I'm messing around with it. And then you put his hand through there like that and then you can kind of get these things on the side they're flexible because it's like soft rubber and you can put those in the peg holes in the bottom of his feet put them in the peg holes in the bottom of his feet okay it's basically that and then you can kind of adjust his legs a little bit and then pretty nice pose have him flying around on the thing not if you were really Good, you could have the pumpkin bomb in his hand. That looks okay. The problem is it will fall out easily if you hang it up, probably. But it would be cool like you could hang it up by the ceiling or something like this with fishing line, possibly. It would look okay. It would look best if you had a bunch of Marvel Legends. Personally, I really don't even have room for Marvel Legends. Like, I collect knock on everything, and... I don't have the biggest room in the world, so, or many shelves. So Marvel Legends, I kind of just collect them and put them off to the side, and then display them when I can, when I have room for them. But, that's the accessories he comes with, and now let's look at the detail of this figure. It looks very nice in the head. I was, it looked like an overly sized head when I seen it online, picture this thing, and I was like, well, that's kind of dumb looking, why do they make his head so big, but when you see it in person, the head's actually normal size, because it's a pumpkin, but it just looked weird online, the pictures of it did, but when you see it in person, like, the flames are really cool on his head and everything, and the body is okay, I mean, it's not the greatest articulation, the way it's made or whatever but it's a pretty good figure all in all and you can see there the straps our shoulder pads and straps there whatever those pouches or something hanging off the sides straps there a nice muscle detail 
a belt with pumpkin bombs around the sides of it. Nice silver paint right there. And then nice wrinkles in the clothes that they came up with. And some kind of weird, cool shin guard things. And then another kind of arm guard and gloves. And the weird fingers. But very nice figure all in all. I'm starting to get the arms busted in where they don't like sound like they're going to break quite as much. But when you first get this thing, you got to be careful with the arms because... They hardly move at all because when you first get them, same with like the Carnage. I had problems with the Carnage figure when I first got it because it was doing that a little bit. But after like playing around with it for a while, you should be able to get it where it's, you know, less hard to move the joints and everything. But, but yeah, but speaking of joints, now that we got over the detail of this figure, let's go into articulation. So for articulation, his head's sort of on a ball joint, or it's on a ball joint. It swivels all the way around, it can, then it hinges forward, and not too far and back, not at all, because of the big pumpkin. And then his arms are on a ratchet thing that bends back that far and forward that far. Ugh, I hate that noise. And then they hinge out that far. Okay, articulation. Then he has a swivel up in the upper arm right there double jointed elbows that move okay and then he has a swivel on his hand right here and that's it he doesn't have no like hinge or anything in the hand okay articulation I mean it's a skinnier figure so they cannot put too much and he has a, a hinge at the or ab crunch crunch is back that far and forward that far. Sorry guys, I lost the word for it there. And he has a swivel in the waist. Hindered by the belt a little bit, but not too bad. And he has a hinge in the leg. Hinge him up that far. Forward and not too far back. And it also, if you swivel it, hinges out that far. Swivel in the upper, like, thigh. Not thigh, but hip. And hinges in the double... Joined knees, hinge and nope, no hinge there, but hinge in the foot that doesn't barely move at all, and ankle pivot. So you can get this guy in some pretty neat poses, but they're not exquisite or anything. Like here, I'll go ahead and show you some cool poses. Like this, this is an okay pose. I mean, you can get him in some neat poses. You can get him flying around in the broom, but. He doesn't come with a stand, man. These things never come with a flight stand. I wish Hasbro could take that into consideration when they make something that is supposed to fly. Like, um, here you go, this is how you're supposed to have him fly. There you go. Perfect. Since he doesn't come with no stand, that's just how he flies. Oh my god, I'm flying! But, anyway. It's an okay figure. It's not horrible or anything. It's just there's better Marvel Legends. I actually cannot make up my mind which one of these I prefer. The the Spider-Man Classics or the Marvel Legends. Spider-Man Classics is cool because the headlights up and everything. And then this one's cool because he has the nice flames that are coming out of his eyes and everything. It's really sweet looking and his face is painted better. But... Speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and compare that, them two figures. Alright, so here's these two figures standing together. Sorry I have to hold this guy up because he does not stand at all because of his little scrawny legs. This one over here barely stands either, so I'm not giving him props or anything. But, yeah, they both have their aspects that make them cool. Like that, the head lighting up, looks pretty nice. And then I also had this idea, if you had like... It doesn't really stand too well, but you can uh, pop that off this joint thing. And then this thing can go in Marvel Legends. And then if you... This takes a lot of my... Uh, pop this head off, and then put it on this figure. It would make kind of the perfect jack-o'-lantern. Sort of. Other than the light-up feature doesn't work, I don't think. 
Oh, the light up feature doesn't work at all. But it'd be cool, like, you could probably make it work. Just have to, like, get rid of that pain in there. Then it'll glow, but... I'm not gonna do that, personally, probably. And then, let's see how this other head fits on this one. He has sort of a ball joint after you pop it off. Or a ball joint holder. Eh. Long neck. But it would look okay on some figures, probably. But now to give them back their heads. Ow. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, his head's back on. And then if you wanted to... Giant pumpkin bomb. All right, <laughs> but I'm not doing that. But my favorite out of these two is probably the new one, just because I like how he's scrawny and bunny looking, and his head's painted better. But this was a really cool figure. Like this one was one that I died to have. It took me forever to actually get. My mom got it for me for my birthday, uh, like five years ago or so, and. This one just came out last year, and I seen this online, and I'm like, finally, they're making a new Jack Lantern. Other than I guess, technically, this one's Mad Jack, and this one's Jack Lantern, but, eh, who cares? They're just flaming pumpkin guys. But. And then to compare them to another figure, I'm gonna compare them to the. He's kinda, his head doesn't. He's kinda floppy, but. To compare him to another figure, I'm comparing him to the. Flash Thompson Venom or Agent Venom. Because, um, he's like enemies. Because I've seen a cover of a comic where they're fighting. Now, the only thing we need Marvel Legends to make is a new Jack Lantern from the Ghost Rider comic. The one where he's like dead. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's more of a kid's line, Marvel Legends is, but. And for adult collectors. Like, if. Diamond Suck Toys did one, they'd probably do it where you could either have him dead with a bullet hole through his head because Punisher shot him, or you could have him as a zombie thing. Speaking of zombies, I really hope that Diamond Suck Toys makes new Marvel zombies. Or, I hope the next one they make is Venom. Because Venom's sweet looking. But anyway, that was my review of the Marvel Legends 2016 Jack Lantern. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did making it. And stay tuned for more videos by KidFool67. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.